the numbers on the code actually mean. The first two digits of the code tell the ECU the calibration protocol that it's using. For example, it's usually great to actually identify the part number or the code of the injector itself. So for example, early Hilux will all start with an 11, late model Hilux will start with a 13 or an 18. These digits themselves are in a format called hexadecimal. This means that the numbering sequence goes 0 to 9, but then instead of going to 10, has A, B, C, D, E, F. So it essentially means we have 16 options per location, or for the geeks, base 16 maps. Coming back to the code, if we're dealing with a Denso 30 digit code, the 26 digits in the middle are actually made up of two digits, it's called sine twos, hexadecimal groupings, allowing for 13 correction points. Different protocols have different testing points, so like an 11 code will only have six correction points, 13 will have 10, remember? Um, but there's usually many zeros, which basically denote that it's either no correction point or there's no change or no test. The last two digit, next to the shape, in this case it's a circle, are known as checksum 8 XOR, which is basically geek speak for checksum. So how does the Denso code work? Well, for each calibration point, there is a designated rail pressure, opening time, and target fuel injected quantity. The two digit groupings are actually telling the ECU how many microseconds the ECU needs to either add or subtract to this injector in order to make the target fuel quantity. So, a 00 code means it adds or subtracts nothing. A 0B code means that it's adding 11 microseconds. A 22 code means that it's adding a 35 microseconds, and an F0 code would mean that it's subtracting 16 microseconds. You get the point. So let's use an example of an imaginary correction point on a table that is fuel quantity of say 30 millimeters cubic per stroke, 800 bar, and around 660 microseconds. Now if the injector has a code of double zero, at this point it means the ECU will inject 660 microseconds to get this fueling. Now, if it has the code uh, EF, it means that it will be subtracting 17 microseconds, and therefore, the ECU has to inject only 634 microseconds to get the fuel quantity. Or if it has code 2A, it means we're adding 42 microseconds, and the ECU needs to hold the injector open for 702 microseconds to get the fueling right. Guys, we've kept this YouTube video fairly short. We do, however, have a long form video that will be far more informative and have more information for you, but you'll need to go through to our blog site to see that. Please check out dieselgeeks.com.au or see the link below.